Hey guys, welcome back. Recently, I made a video on Lineage OS 17.1, which is based on Android 10. After a long time, Lineage OS rolled out its first build for almost all the Android devices based on Android 10. And lots of you have been asking me about the installation guide. So you guys let me know I have OnePlus 3 series, OnePlus 5 series, OnePlus 6 series and OnePlus 7 series. So let me know in the comment section below on which particular device you want the installation guide. In this video, I'll be covering OnePlus 7 series. So we'll be installing Lineage OS 17.1 on my oneplus 7 pro to install lineage os 17.1 you required your device bootloader to be unlocked which i won't be showing you in this video i'll just show you the command which has to be used to unlock bootloader and if you guys still don't know how to unlock bootloader i'll give a dedicated link in the description below you can watch that video and unlock the bootloader before doing anything make sure to take a backup of your device because we need to wipe internal storage after that you need few other files like adb drivers and the rom installation files adb drivers is a exe file just install it normally on your pc then you'll find this adb folder inside your C drive so here I have made subfolders so today we'll be installing on our oneplus 7 pro and here I have the files so lineage OS file that is 17.1 Google app package in this particular video I'll be using Pico and Pico is recommended on almost all custom rooms then we need to have the TWRP installer and TWRP image file first let me show you my device bootloader is already unlocked I'm going to settings about section Tap on the build number 7 times if you are doing it for the first time. Then you will see you are a developer now. Go to system, developer options. So here you can see I cannot disable OEM unlocking which means my device bootloader is unlocked. Other than that enable advanced reboot and also enable USB debugging and connect your device to PC. After that power off your device and boot into bootloader by long pressing power key if you have enabled advanced reboot option. Tap on bootloader. And now my device successfully boots into bootloader. Under device state you can see it's unlocked. If your device is logged, it will show you status as logged. And now for those guys whose device bootloader is not unlocked. So they can do one thing. Inside adb folder where you have placed all these files and the recovery file, open command prompt there. But make sure you open inside adb folder itself. It doesn't matter if you create a subfolder, but the main folder should be adb. Now we need to open command prompt. So the simplest way to open command prompt is tap once in the address bar and type cmd and hit enter. So this will open up command prompt inside your adb folder. Now comes the main part of unlocking bootloader. So to unlock the bootloader give a command fastboot oem unlock and hit enter. So right now you can see it says fastboot error command failed because device state is already unlocked. So my device have already been unlocked. If it is not unlocked, you'll get a pop-up message on your device in which you need to confirm whether to unlock or not. You can select unlock bootloader and your device will be unlocked. So this way you can unlock your bootloader. Now what I'll do is I'll boot my device into TWRP recovery. So what I'll do, I'll copy the link from here the same name of the TWRP recovery control plus C you can copy that after that open command prompt and give a command fast boot boot and now paste the recovery name that you can do by just right clicking also add .img because it's a image file and hit enter now your device should boot into TWRP recovery and now you can see device boots into TWRP recovery. And one more thing guys, I was running Oxygen OS stable version on my OnePlus 7 Pro. What I'll do is I'll swipe to allow modification. First step what you need to do is you need to decrypt your device. For that go to wipe, format data, type yes and hit enter. Going back to the main home page. Let me also show you which slot my device is running on. Right now, current slot is B. And now I'll again reboot to fast boot mode. So tapping on bootloader. Once you are into fast boot mode, again give the same command to boot your device into TWRP recovery. Now hit enter. A device will again boot into TWRP recovery. After booting into TWRP recovery, swipe allow to modification. Let me again show you this slot. And here you can see current slot is slot B. And now what you need to do is you need to copy these three files. One is lineage OS. Second one is the Google app package. And third one is the TWRP installer. We need to flash TWRP installer to avoid replacing of stock recovery or lineage OS recovery. Open your device internal storage. 
and paste these three files here. Once you have successfully copied these files, you can find them inside internal storage. Tapping on install will show you all the three files. So here we have the first file which is lineage OS, second one is the Google app package and third one is the TWRP installer. So first let's install lineage OS. Once ROM installation is completed, go back to the main home page, go to install and do not install Google app package now. First we'll install TWRP installer. So tapping on this, confirm to swipe flash. So TWRP installer will be flashed on both the slots. Once this is done, now go back to the main home page, go to reboot and tap on recovery. Once you are back into recovery, now go to again reboot and check the slot. So current slot should be A and you need to flash Google app package on slot A. If you have flashed lineage OS on slot B, go to install, tap on the Google app package, swipe to confirm flash and once it is done, now you can reboot your system. Your device should successfully boot into lineage OS. And here you can see device successfully boots up with Lineage OS 17.1. Initial boot up might take 3 to 4 minutes. Just complete the initial setup and here you go. Let me show you the software information by going to about section under Android version. Here you can see Android version is Android 10. Lineage OS version is 17.1. So guys this way you can install lineage os 17.1 on your oneplus 7 series also you guys let me know for which device you want me to cover the installation guide so guys that's all in today's video hope you like the video and if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up also if you are new to my channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day